Bonjour. Can you talk about your home? I will ask you 10 questions about your home. If you cannot answer them, then watch the video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You are watching French Action and my name is Jenny. This video will help you if you are taking an exam at A2 level. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! Here are the 10 questions. Please listen carefully. Question number one. Où habites-tu? Question number two. Est-ce que tu habites seul? Question number three. Habites-tu dans un appartement ou dans une maison? Question number four. Habites-tu près d'un centre commercial? Habites-tu en ville? Question number five. Comment est ton quartier? Question number six. Est-ce que tu t'entends bien avec tes voisins? Question number seven. Combien de pièces y a-t-il chez toi? Question number eight. Qu'est-ce que tu préfères? Vivre en ville ou à la campagne? Pourquoi? Question number nine. Décris-moi ta maison idéale. Question number ten. Quel type de maison achèterais-tu si tu gagnais au loto? So, here are the ten questions. If you were struggling to answer, then I would advise you to continue to watch the video. I will help you to answer them. Question number one. Où habites-tu? So here the key word is où. Où means where. Où habites-tu? You know already habit because you know how to say j'habite. So où is where. Où habites-tu? Where do you live? Now your answer will be j'habite à and you will uh, use the name of the city, the town, the village, the hamlet, wherever you live. But remember that you cannot put the name of the country with A. Okay, so if you use a feminine country is en, if you use the masculine country is O. Question number two. Est-ce que tu habites seul? So here we have a question starting with est-ce que. You have to remember that any question starting with est-ce que requires a yes or no answer. So est-ce que tu habites so far? You understand that and maybe the problem would be seul. Seul means on your own. Est-ce que tu habites seul? Do you live on your own? You will see that I put seul twice, but the second one has an E. This is for a female. If I'm asking the question to a female, then I would have seul with an E. Now, your answer would be, oui, j'habite seul. Or non, j'habite avec mes parents, avec ma tante, etc., etc. And you can uh, develop that a little bit more. Question number three. Habites-tu dans un appartement ou dans une maison? Question 
habites-tu dans un appartement ou dans une maison? So here you know already habitude, appartement is appartement, and une maison is a house. So your answer would be something like, oui, j'habite dans un appartement, uh, oui, j'habite dans une maison, or just, j'habite dans un appartement, ou j'habite dans une maison. Question number four. It's actually two questions in one. Habites-tu près d'un centre commercial? Habites-tu en ville? So here, again, habites-tu, it's the same, same thing, habites-tu, do you live? Près de, you need to remember that près de means near, and centre commercial means, um, a, means a, a mall, okay, or a place where there's shops, a shopping area, okay. Habitu en ville, do you live in town? So here are the questions again. Habitu près d'un centre commercial? Habitu en ville? You could say, oui, j'habite en ville. Uh, oui, j'habite près d'un centre commercial. Uh, C'est très pratique, and you can give some information about that uh, center, okay? So, of course, the answers I'm giving you are just the basic, and then you can develop your answers. Question number five. Comment est ton quartier? So, here we are coming into questions which are a little bit more difficult uh, because we don't have the habit to anymore. Uh, there's a word, quartier, that some of you might not know. Quartier is basically the area where you live. Donc, comment est ton quartier? Comment, whenever you have your comment est, really you are expected to give a description. Donc, comment est ton quartier? So, your answer could be something like, j'habite dans un quartier calme, uh, quiet, or bruyant, noisy, près de, near, and you give the area. Um, or if you don't want to say j'habite dans un quartier, you can just answer the question as it was posed. Mon quartier est calme ou mon quartier est bruyant. And then you can develop a bit more. You could even say why you like it or why you dislike it if you want to develop a bit more. Question number six. Est-ce que tu t'entends bien avec tes voisins? So here we have two key words. Voisin. So you have to remember that voisin means neighbors. So what can what kind of question What kind of question can we ask you regarding your neighbors? Est-ce que tu t'entends bien? You have to remember that tu t'entends bien means get on well with. So, do you get on well with your neighbors? Est-ce que tu t'entends bien avec tes voisins? So, oui, je m'entends bien avec mes voisins, ils sont sympathiques. Non, je ne m'entends pas bien avec mes voisins. And then you can say ils sont bruyants, etc., etc., you just come up with something, okay? The main thing at this point is really to understand the question. Question number seven. Combien de pièces y a-t-il chez toi? So here, whenever you, you hear combien, 
is how much or how many okay pièces you have to remember that pièce is the word for room combien de pièces y a-t-il chez toi and chez toi means in your house okay combien de pièces y a-t-il chez toi and then you're going to enumerate the the rooms but another question which could be asked is peux-tu me décrire ton ton appartement if you had said before you you lived in an apartment or peux-tu me décrire ta maison okay so décrire is describe so you this is a description here okay bien Combien de pièces y a-t-il chez toi? So your answer could be il y a, and then you enumerate the, the, the rooms and talk about the number of bedrooms, uh, living room, dining room, kitchen, uh, bathroom, and so on. If you have a garden, you can add that too. Question number eight. Qu'est-ce que tu préfères, vivre en ville ou à la campagne? Pourquoi? So the question is, qu'est-ce que tu préfères? What do you prefer? Vivre en ville, vivre was used here instead of habiter, but vivre means to live as well. Vivre en ville ou à la campagne, or in the country. Pourquoi? Why? Qu'est-ce que tu préfères, vivre en ville ou à la campagne? Pourquoi? So, possible answer, je préfère vivre en ville parce qu'il y a plus de choses intéressantes à faire qu'à la campagne. I prefer to live in town or, or Question number nine. Décris-moi ta maison idéale. Décris-moi ta maison idéale. So, décris-moi is describe to me. Ta maison idéale. Idéal is a little keyword here. Ideal. And it's a keyword because it will affect the way you are going to say your sentence in terms of the tense. So let's see the question first. Décris-moi ta maison idéale. And then your answer will be ma maison idéale serait. Serait would be. You have to use the conditional because it's an ideal house. It doesn't exist. So you have to say my, my maison idéale serait. And here I put grande avec une piscine, etc. You just come up with uh, your ideal house. Ma maison idéale serait. Question number 10. Quel type de maison achèterais-tu si tu gagnais au loto? Okay, this one is probably the most difficult question, which is normal because it's question 10. Quel type de maison achèterais-tu si tu gagnais au loto? So here is what type of house would you buy if you were to win the lottery? Okay? So here we have the conditional, achèterais-tu? And then, gagner au loto, we have the imperfect, which is that the, the imperfect tends for to uh, after the if, si, si tu gagnais au loto. So a possible answer would be, si je gagnais au loto, so you reuse the element of the question, si je gagnais au loto, j'achèterais, which is exactly the same uh, verb you're using at the same tense, une grande villa avec dix chambres, une piscine, un jacuzzi, un terrain de tennis, etc., etc. So... These 
are the 10 questions. If you can answer them, then you're good to go. So how was it? Did you manage to answer all the questions right? Now, if you haven't managed to answer all the questions, don't worry. Just go through the first 10 questions, which I ask you right at the beginning before discovering the answers. Okay, and just try to get exposed to the questions because I think it's probably the most difficult part is not hearing enough French to understand the questions. And I'm pretty sure that you can answer those questions, but understanding them is probably the most challenging part. So don't worry about it. Just practice, continue to practice. And of course, if you've enjoyed the video, I'm just asking you to, um, to share it, to like it. And if you want more contents like this, then, and you haven't subscribed as yet, then you need to do it uh, so that you know when my videos will come out. Okay, à la prochaine. Au revoir.